I mean, originally we started out um, kind of wanting to just bring something to the community that gave people another option um, besides going down to the bars or kind of just staying in your houses. Um, so we wanted to have a little bit more social atmosphere, which is the gaming and ihuka lounge. Um, and then eventually that kind of led into CBD because uh, we did want to have a little bit other kind of smokable option. Um, and then we ended up completely turning gears and going into the full CBD. Um, just because we all have personally experienced all the benefits um, as well as we just really wanted to give an alternative to the community, something that we really personally can stand behind and actually feel it can actually benefit um, not only ourselves, but a wide range of people. Yeah. So um, I guess, uh, like what uh, has the kind of the reception been like to CBD in the community? Uh, we've had a lot of people accept us. Uh, age groups from 18 to 65, everyone has been welcoming us with open arms. Still breaking that stigma down. There's still a couple of people who walk in and are surprised when they see something that looks a lot like marijuana. Um, but like I said, we're still working to break that down and people are slowly coming around, which is awesome to see. Um, also too with CBD, the reason I feel like just the hemp plant in general is going to be really big and kind of take off a lot more is that not only does it have kind of the CBD side of things, but you can also use every part of the plant. Um, you can take the hemp fibers, you can make clothing and canvases. Um, they have paper, they have bioplastics that they're studying make to develop. Or you can make everything. Yeah, you can make hemp bricks. Like you can do just about anything with hemp. Um, so that's like a really big thing with it is that there's so many other things besides the actual kind of CBD portion of it that it, it's a huge, huge market that people are really starting to get into. Yeah. So like where do you see your store going as the time goes on? Um, so, one of our main goals would be to switch to a dispensary if THC ever does become fully legalized in Wisconsin. Um, other than that, and like more recent goals, um, we are going to try to do online sales and that's like our biggest thing right now, mm -hmm. just branding ourselves mm -hmm. online. Yeah, yeah. And do you, um, let's see, and do you all intend on staying in Platteville then? Um, for the for foreseeable now. future, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. For at least three to four years.